We're going to be replacing these air bleeders today. Oh, that's one of those, uh, obviously clogged up or something. And I'm using it. And um, so I'm going to take that off and I'll be uh, replacing some, uh, there'll be some more serviceable air bleeders. These are the kind of just the standard issue ones. Alright, there's a new uh, style bleeder. Uh, it's the Honeywell. Uh, what's the part number on this thing? I'll show you the box. PA79, I think, is it? It's a model number. Um, but th basically, uh, now we have a shutoff valve here, anyways, an isolation valve, which is nice. Um, but these are designed to be installed potentially without an isolation valve. Obviously, pressure has to be off during installation, but they have an internal uh, shutoff. Um, and obviously these kind are not meant to be taken apart at all really. Uh, you, you can kind of pull that uh, little needle and seat out of the top there and uh, clean it a, bit, a little bit. But uh, this you can actually pull like the whole internals out and it has a, a built-in shut off so you just twist it with your hand. That's open and that's closed. So uh, we go ahead and open this one up here. Uh, Twist, twist that cap off to remove the internals. And that should do it. I think you leave this cap on. I believe uh, I think I has pipe there. And also, if you need to uh, remotely pipe the discharge a bit somewhere, like do a drain line if we're inside a building. Fortunately, we're outside in a really cool equipment yard here, so no problem. Leave that, leave that on there. Here, place the other one. There's the full part number there. Yeah, both of them replaced, then uh, should be not having any more trouble with that. Put these in the scrap pile. And that'll be the end. Look at that old micro channel chiller over there, poor bastard. It's gonna die an early death. I, can, I know it. <laughs>